Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing well. Today we are doing our decades challenge. I'm super excited to get back into it with this family. I still don't know what we're going to do with this baby, but I think I might go ahead and age the little guy up to... I think we might go ahead and age him up up to a infant and then maybe he'll be an infant until like Friday. <laughs> like I am still trying to figure it all out regarding that, but I'm going to go ahead and just age him up today at the beginning of the episode. We'll give him a little makeover and we'll kind of see what happens. But if you're excited for today's video, make sure you go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. It really does help out the channel and turn on those push notifications to get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And let's go ahead and jump on into it. Miss Edith, the queen, she looks different, probably because I had to lift her mouth up because of the glitch I keep getting, but she's still very beautiful and I love her so much. Then there's Alfred, who is also smiling today and also looks, I think, a little bit different. I don't know. Everyone's looking a bit different today. What is up with you, girl? All right, Edith. So, oh, there's people at our house. This girl and the doctor who we dismissed multiple times. I'm gonna have to fire her and then I'm gonna give us our money back because I know that we got rid of her. I just need her to not come back. So she took 74 simoleons. I'm gonna add 74 simoleons. Now, please, please, please age up Wesley. We get to see what Wesley looks like as a little infant, our first infant of our decades challenge. I don't know if we'll have any more kids, but at least for now, Miss Thing is going to have a lovely little baby. It's gonna get a little bit more complicated, but I'm totally fine with that. And Wesley, we'll give him a random trait. He'll be cautious. Whoa, not what I was expecting. But he has, he has black hair this time. Last time our baby boy got blonde hair. So now this baby boy has black hair. But let's go ahead and take a second to take him into create a sim and give him a little bit of a makeover. He's definitely not going to be this skin tone because it doesn't make any sense. Like, why would he be the skin tone if neither of his parents are the skin tone? So we are going to change that. I I think they're this shade. So we'll do this one. He, infants in my game, they always look so broken. I don't know if it's a glitch or what. I'm just looking at their eye colors real quick. So Mr. Alfred has blue eyes and Edith has like a greenish brown. So like hazel. Then what do you have? You have the hazel and I think you have the blue, right? Yeah. And it looks like you have green. So I guess we'll leave you with green. We'll just put a different swatch on you. The eyes that everyone else has, I don't think they're an infant. So we'll just give him these. Let's put some skin details on him to make him look a little bit better. Well, this is Wesley. I don't know how I feel about him. I like this hair better. I don't know how I feel about him as I don't have a lot of infant CC. I need to go CC shopping again, but here he is. This is the closest outfit I had to anything decades themed. I need to go CC shopping again, but I don't think there's any decade CC for infants. Um, and then I just put him in some random other outfits. So like his vibe probably won't be the same as everyone else's, but I try my best with what I had and that's all I could do. So we'll go ahead and stick him in game, our little cautious little baby. We also need to, we also need to switch out the bassinet for a crib which I already had one in mind. How come we have all this? Our chickens! Oh my gosh, our chickens! Where did they come from? Have they been in here the entire time? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. For those of you who, if you haven't watched this series from the beginning, like back in like episode four or something, we went to, we went to one of the festivals and we entered in our chickens and we lost them. Oh my gosh, our chickens. I love that. Everything's here. I wonder if the game had glitched because they weren't there before. So I'm thinking that the game glitched and brought them back to me. That's amazing. Anyway, we got some more planters. I might put this one like out here. And then put this one in here where I wanted to put it, but it never came in. So I'll put this here too. 
I desperately wanted them to have like a plant inside where they can like have stuff, but this never showed up. So, oh, that's so cool. And then we have end tables that he crafted. I hope I can change the color to these because I hate the color. Okay, no? Okay, that's fine. Well, he crafted two end tables, so I wanted to put one in the living room. Oh, or I can... I can replace the ones in the bedroom so we have a little bit more money and slowly start replacing some of the furniture with stuff that our boy makes. Wow. The whole chickens thing was like a whole moment for me. Ugh. Where'd the bed go? I deleted the, the table and everything got deleted too. Oh my gosh. We have our uh, another chicken in here too. Why do we have three chickens just sitting in our inventory? And I need to put these eggs down so I can put them in the fridge when we go back into game. The lump of clay stays. I hate lump, the lump of clay. The bar stool, we can sell the wall shelf. We can keep that. That's cute. That's super cute. Okay. Can I put this on there? So maybe this needs to go in the kitchen, but I don't think there's any room in the kitchen. And then we have the computer and our lump of clay, which I am deleting. We're good to go. Wow, guys. What an eventful, an eventful time. How many chickens do we have in here? Three? Well, I guess now we have six. I guess now we have six chickens. Ginny and Buttercup. Oh my gosh. And just a random rooster chick. We'll name you Eggy. I love it. They're looking around like, Huh? How long? How long have we been in there? Huh? What? The little chick's like, all right, well, now that I'm out of the inventory, I'm gonna go sleep. I'm tired. We need to take care of our animals. Animals need to be taken care of, my guy. I can't believe it. What? Boy, don't you have other things that you need to do? Like, take care of the animals and stuff? Or did you already do that today? Can you refill this? Cow plant's fine. Yeah, it does already look like he did that, but okay. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot the crib. <laughs> I was so busy looking in their household inventory, I forgot to get the baby a place to sleep. I did download one for this household. I want to see if it works. I don't know if it will, but might as well check it out. It is this one. No, it's not this one. It's this one. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. Like, look how much it matches this area. We could do that one. It kind of blends into everything, but it's kind of like they made it out of the same tree that they built the house with. I like it. Now I do want to see if it's functional, so we're going to put Wesley down in here instead of right by the fire where I'm terrified. And I think our house kind of needs more space. I don't know. If we have 6,000 simoleons, maybe I think it'll be fine if all three of the kids are in the same room. But we might need to extend this room out one. I haven't edited this house any. I don't even know if it's like if I should, you know? Just not sure if it makes sense quite yet. How is Wesley? The little baby. He's hungry. Edith! Edith, like she really was just about to leave him here, starving. The baby is starving. Now, what time does it say him he's gonna age up? Yeah, it says he's not gonna age up until like after the twins have already aged up. So I think we'll probably just move him up a bit, I guess. Do like Friday or Saturday instead. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. But here he is, little baby Wesley. And my other babies are hungry. Do we got anything in here for them to eat? Yes. There's six left in that one and eight left in this one. So go grab a serving. Grab a serving, guys. He's mad at dolls. This kid is a little bit of a hassle. Can we do like tummy time? I would really like to get his milestones up, you know, since we have the time. But I don't know if we can which is fine because we don't have the mat. So I don't know if we are able to do any of that, but I kind of want her to do some laundry. So are these done drying? Put this away, fill the bowl. Now there's this random guy at our house again, but it's fine. Search pockets. Stop, she's fine. Leave her alone. She's actively trying to eat. I'm about sick and tired of everybody doing things that I'm trying to get her to do. Searching through the pockets. We got 19 simoleons, nice, nice. Oh, and a plumbing upgrade part, okay. Black rooster, not black rooster, and not black hen. Not me gi not giving them any names. Elise, Hen, Henry, Henrietta. I don't know why that took me so long to understand. What is the names of all of our chickens? Name chicken coop, egg palace, sure. I need to see assigned chickens. So black hen, hen Henrietta, Elise, Jenny, Buttercup, and Eggy. I would love to find the second rooster, but we'll look at him. Well, he'll come out eventually. What is happening? 
No, fix this. Oh my gosh. You realize that this is going to cost us. This is going to cost us, dude. You got to deal with that as soon as you see it. And I know you saw it because you were literally standing in there. Okay, so she's full. I think we need Edith to give her a bath. There's so many kids. Stop. What do you need? You need the potty. So just go potty. Boy, you got a max, like, your potty skill? About max. Like, you don't need anyone to help you with that. Here, can you throw that away? Her skills are so good, by the way. Like, look at this little baby skills. She is about at level four thinking, about to max out potty and movement and then all she'll have left is thinking she's so smart my precious little bean and what do you need just go to sleep little bubba alfred just going around watching all of his children kind of creepy but it's fine he needs the bath but oh so cute oh i guess he's all right all you gotta do is fall asleep on your own little bubby and then we have this one who needs to have her bath finished and then once she's done she's good to go edith needs to take care of herself alfred needs to take care of himself oh he's cleaning up helping out edith and never mind <laughs> never mind i'm gonna just let the kids watch the older the older ones because it helps with their thinking which i didn't learn this until like recently i just happened to see it happen but it does having them watch older sims helps with their thinking no no more dolls here study shapes we're gonna get all their skills up to max i don't want you to eat the fruit salad you are fine go ahead and do some studying of shapes you eat it eat it miss ma'am go ahead and get leftovers alfred my guy you can finally take a bath how does that make you feel i hope great i hope good we'll get the fridge cleaned out here in just a moment if i want to add ice how much ice is in my fridge? Okay, fridge's ice level is 100%. I gotta keep track of that because I wanna make sure that we always have ice in the fridge. The baby's fine. She can, you can leave her alone. Can you clean out spoiled food? Oh, Victoria, you're such a good little baby. Getting to level four thinking. What about you? He's doing so good on all of his skills. Yes, he's a little bit slower on the communication side than his sister. But other than that, like, they are on top of it. Edith, I'm about sick and tired of you. Can you just move these to the clothing line, please? Oh my gosh, she's back. Why does everyone come over to our house, by the way? I don't quite get it. Oh my gosh, let me look at you. And she's a vampire? I'm sorry. You're a vampire? And you have green teeth? I don't... What are you doing? Stop. Edith! Oh my gosh, girl. <laughs> she cracks me up. I genuinely don't know what she's doing half the time. Alfred, my guy. You gotta feed this thing. No, not eat cake. Oh my gosh, I'm about to do it again. <laughs> I just wanted him to feed him. How are you? You are lacking fun. Do you think cross stitching is cross stitching is fun? Let's do something like this. I don't know if you think it's fun, but it'll be fun to watch you do it. Okay, she, she does think it's fun. Great. It gives her a little activity to do and she finds it enjoyable, so I'm not mad about it. You can go to sleep now. Blocks are fun from playing with nesting blocks. How sweet. You do, let me reset you real quick. Now you may go to sleep. She kept having that bug and I just had to get rid of it real quick. He is about to need food again, Edith. So you're about to be on the clock. Who is this? Become friends with Yur Yuritsa. She does seem to like this. How about you? Do not play with the cow plant. You can craft a wall hanging, which I don't know what that is, but it's not playing with the cow plant. So we don't trust this cow plant. The last time we laid any of our trust in this cow plant, Alfred died. <laughs> and then I had to bring it back to life. She looks so cozy and cute. Like Edith straight gives me grandma vibes. And I know it's probably because of the whole 1900s thing, but like, She's like my cutest little sim. And she loves things like this. Like, look at her. She looks so chill, so relaxed. I'm obsessed with her. And she's sitting here with her son. Big potato? I'm sorry. How is that? Why is that there? What happened to this big potato? Ugh, and it's, it's nasty? Well, I accidentally put it in the sink, but it's okay. It needed to be thrown away. Let's think if we do things like talk about stuff oh they could blow a kiss 
The babies can blow a kiss? Nah, you gotta tell me that's fake, right? was so cute i don't know i'll have to leave that little clip in for you guys because why is he so cute and then alfred tried to ruin all of my pictures by walking in between them in the wall i need to get another picture of him doing this hold up that was so cute affection blow kiss i need to see him do it again it was so sweet oh he's so cute the little hearts the two he goes it's so cute I love it. I love this whole house. I know we haven't like done a lot today, but we kind of did. If I look back, like we gave the baby a makeover. Oh yeah. Baby is now a infant now. Gave the baby a makeover. We updated the house with some new furniture. We found our chickens, which is kind of funny. <laughs> I think it's been a really long time. Hold on. I actually need to figure that out before the end of today's episode, how long it's been. And Wesley had a blowout. Edith, you got to stop, girl. Oh, she does like cross-stitching. How exciting. Alfred, you better not touch this baby. Give a... Let's change his diaper first and then give him a bath. Or I guess we can clean him up like this. Cleaning up, by the way, such a hack. It's something that's like kind of actually functional now. I know it was like a thing that worked, but like nobody really knew about it for toddlers. But like, hold on, she's gonna do it again. And boom, he's clean. Literally spinning him and he's clean. Well, not really, but I think he's clean. So I bumped it up. And she's sick because she hates changing diapers, which if I knew that was gonna be a thing, I wouldn't have made her squeamish, but it's already too late for that. And I wanted to check, so, we lost our chickens in episode six. <laughs> this is episode 21. So my OG Decades fans, we finally found them. The chickens are finally home. They're finally back in their coop and we can actually take care of them. That is so funny to me. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like down below and comment what you want to see next from these guys and what you think about the whole uh chicken thing <laughs> that i don't know it's just really funny to me so i'm just gonna keep mentioning it but that's fine and yeah so make sure if you want to see more of me i do stream every day on twitch so that will be linked down in the description if you want to check that out i also have a discord server um it'll also be linked in the description if you want to come and get updates from me or talk to some of your fellow moon club friends feel free to and i will see you guys in the next one bye